you have arrived. Good for cinema. And I got enough guns in my own. One last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hard couldn't stand the bastard myself. That spreading Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Yes, Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. All right. Hey, Roman, you couldn't send a cab for a cousin in need, could you? You are my cousin, Nico. How can I refuse? There is a cab on its way. I'm still free, John. Surrounded by parasites. Get out of my way, please. My bad, my dude. Excuse me. Liberty Lane, please. Sure, fine. Enjoy your shitty freeloading life. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him 
to bear, but he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. Amen. Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god! Get the hell out of the way! Here, but I ain't leaving my poor dead brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Damn it, we're some back doors light, Nico. The fucking casket better not fall out. Go easy. Finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. 
Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard, and Gerald is behind bars, all that guy left is that smack hit dead. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy, which ain't gonna get used. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Hey, Roman, you couldn't send a cab for a cousin in need, could you? Nico, I am... Stop! Now! Forgive me, my friend. Oh, this guy's an ass! Not the entrance. Stop. Second try. I want to go to uh, Zeno Time Street. All right, then. Let's do it. Go. Gerald McCreary here, calling from the Alton State Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. You come down. I can't believe this! No way! Hell no! Don't fuck about, let's go! Okay. Here we are. That's great. Hello there. Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, 
Algonquin heliport. Come on, hit it. Calculating route. In 400 yards. Turn. So, I got a proposition for you, Louis. It's Louise, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. Making me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No, my jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch. No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about every me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace or a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp. Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay. So what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city. Only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that? And you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost a nothing in my old life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as Little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing. And then all your contractual obligations are released. Hey, here's to that. I don't like your chances, big man.
Man, that's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. 
Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think ponies cash mean shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. Yamando, I need some hardware. You available? He got himself in a fight, has he? I'll come by. kind of ways with this shit right here. Wait for this. I appreciate this shit, man. I can see myself rolling with one of these. I like it. Thanks, eh? Te cuida. Ah, motherfucker. What's happening? I've organized that face-to-face -face with our good friend, the Celebinator. Oh, shit. We're gonna show him a good time? Yeah, I thought we could persuade him that we're not such bad guys after all. He's meeting us at the heliport on the West River. We're taking him out on a tour of the city. I wouldn't miss this. See you there, T.
really missed the fun, Hell. Come on, board. Grab your chute. He's so fucking paranoid. I thought we'd start over the Statue of Happiness. Take us up! Luis, meet our new friend, the Celebinator. Place to make your acquaintance. Yo, do you got like a real name? Or do I gotta call you the Wusset? This is a gaze I wear in public. I'd prefer it if you called me the Celebinator. Okay. It's a lovely helicopter you've got here, Tony. I'd love to say this was mine, but I'm just borrowing it off a rich friend of mine, Mr. Yusef Amir. He let us use it because it's such a special occasion. This is a very grown-up gesture of yours. I thought it'd be just tit for tat from here on in. What do you mean tit for tat? You just started insulting us on your website. We ain't done shit to you. I'm not naive, Louis. The Derrier launch, Mason, its fifth birthday, he left me off the list and was a delip. Show our friend the sights, L. I'll take the controls. You really don't have to show me anything. I've vlogged every inch of this town. You know what? I don't think you ever seen Liberty City like this. What you doing, Tony? Help! Your blocks don't mean <laughs> shit! This how we do tip for tap! You ain't so tough without you. You think we kiss your ass? I'm sorry, did I just hurt you? Where's that influence now, bro? You think you're important? You ain't shit! Who the big man now, huh? How you liking your toy, bitch? You should lose some pounds, bro. You're too fucking heavy. an annoying little fuck, but I think we saw eye to eye by the end of it. He ain't gonna be giving us no smack talk no more. That's excellent news. We should schmooze these citizen journalists more often. It will be my pleasure. who was asking about gold crookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. I'm spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man, I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that gay Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk.
expected this, don't? Don't freak out. He was an asshole. My guess is he was intending to steal them diamonds when the bikers got him. Okay, Evan was a conceited dick, a lowlife, a whore, a drug peddler, and a thief. He treated me like dirt. That's the kind of guy I like. You should start going back to the shrink, bro. Screw you. Anyway, that doesn't solve the diamond issue. Rocco's saying we owe him his share of the profits on top of everything else. This ain't good, man. But we'll find a way out of it. You've been in worse case before. I'm counting on your leadership. You believe those stories? Wow. I never took you for an idiot. I just pretended to know what I was doing. I'm a schmuck who got lucky. Shit. We really are screwed. Oh, yeah, thanks. Don't relax and get down.